What's good with everybody? It's your boy back at it again with another video. Lately, I've been thinking about the style of my videos and if I want to keep going with like strictly install videos or if I want to be more interactive with it. Like, hey, this is what I'm putting in my car. Just in case you wanted to know how to do it, this is how you do it. You know, like not strictly install, like take off the 19 millimeter bolt. Like kind of like I'm trying to figure out how I can be a little more interactive. So that way it's just not like, that way it can spread to like maybe a bigger audience. You know, not like a vlog, but kind of like a vlog if you understand what i'm trying to say i don't know if you have any recommendations or suggestions leave a comment down below but for now i got brom seats behind me brom harnesses graffiti motorsports harness bar we're gonna go ahead and unbox those really quick and just throw them in the car so these are the boxes right here this is the graffiti motorsports harness bar those are the harnesses those are the seats and as you can see i took out one seat already brom really has aesthetically pleasing packaging so yeah let's just go ahead and open everything up So this is everything. I only got one harness right now because the other one was on back order, but I got the five point harness in red and the seats I went with Elite X Racing Series, the diamond stitch, the red diamond stitch. Um, it's with the red strip that goes around the top. Like I said, the theme for my interior was just gonna be black, red, and carbon fiber wherever it can be. Um, so I think this match is gonna be really good. The harness bar is right there. I left it in the wrap because I didn't want it to get scratched up, but it is also in red. So that's gonna match with everything else. But other than missing one harness, let's go ahead and put everything inside, starting with the harness bar. So what I'm gonna do first is remove my stock seats. That way I have the most room to do everything. Um, starting with the harness bar so in order to remove your stock seats so there's gonna be four 14 millimeter bolts two in the front and two in the back they're gonna be covered up like this so you just want to take off the cap and reveal your bolt so once you removed all four of the 14 millimeter bolts your seat should become broken loose um, there's gonna be connectors underneath that you're gonna want to disconnect in order to remove your whole seat So as you can see, it's pretty simple removing your stock seat. This is the wire that you wanted to disconnect. It's only one. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is vacuum everything really quick, make it look nice and neat. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the passenger side. I just finished vacuuming both sides. Passenger seat is out. After this, pretty much the next step is to, pretty much what I'm gonna do is install the harness bars. So for starters, your seat belt right here, there's gonna be a, a bolt. If you just reveal it underneath this clip, um, you're gonna wanna loosen that uh, or actually take it all out and do the same thing for the other side right over there. After removing those bolts, uh, you're gonna wanna come behind the seats. There's gonna be two holes, one right there behind the driver's seat and the other one is right here where you would attach a car seat to. You're gonna wanna undo that one. Um, and pretty much those are the four holes that you're gonna need to install your harness bar if it's from Graffiti Motorsports. So we're gonna go ahead and do that really quick. Okay, so I got the Graffiti Motorsports K-Bar in. What I will say is the fitment is so tight that it almost doesn't even work. Like, I don't know if every, I'm pretty sure every harness bar that they make is gonna be different. Not everyone is the same. So mine was very short in length. So the connections for the seatbelt areas were very, very tight, making it hard for this specific bolt to fit in there. Um, it was actually off the hole. The two holes didn't line up. I had to like put a lot of force into pushing the bar to make it fit. But nonetheless, this thing is on there. It's tight and yeah, it's very hard actually. It took like maybe 45 minutes for four bolts. So next what I'm gonna do is put my harness strap um, on the driver's seat. So I'm gonna start off by taking off this lower end of the seat belt to have the first connection, the first point. Um, I believe the second one is either that or that one. I'm pretty sure it's that. And the other two are gonna go up top and I'm not gonna connect the fifth one. I'm just gonna have four, even though it's a five point. So yeah, I'm gonna do that for the harness strap. And then I'm gonna start um, putting the plates for the seats, the bracket uh, inside. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so for the harness strap, um, all I did was weave two of them, the top two through the harness bar 
It's not gonna stay like that permanently, don't pose me. The one that goes on the left side of the driver. Basically, I just unscrewed the bottom bolt that the factory seat belt is connected to, and I screwed in the Brom, the Brom ring, um, kept my factory seat belt connected, and I got the strap, left side of the driver strap connected. So, so far I just have that, those two. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with the right side of the driver strap um, just yet but as for the seats so just a quick disclaimer you do have to buy these plates separately they don't come with the seats i honestly don't remember if these sliders came with the seats but anyway in the package we got four sliders two for each it was honestly pretty tedious doing this but like easy at the same time all i did was connect my sliders first um the seat already has four holes with four allen bolts in them so you wanna make sure the only thing that this stuff going on right here faces inward. So just like this side faces this way, this one has to face this way. So for reference, on a slider that's not installed, there's a side that has a lot of stuff going on and there's a side that's flat. So you're gonna want the flat side against the seat and just make sure that this stuff is facing inward. That way, when you have your little bar that you can control to go forward and backward, you would just attach it uh, to the bottom right here and then you can press down nicely. So we're gonna go ahead and install the plate now. Two hours later, finally got the bracket or the plate, whatever the, whatever this is, I finally got it on. Basically what was happening was the screw that they gave us, uh, or the washer, I should say, wasn't thick enough. So it was hitting as I was sliding down, trying to tighten up the bottom four or vice versa, whichever one I did first. It was basically too long, the actual screw, and it was hitting. So I had to take out washers from unnecessary areas and then put them on the actual screws and managed to get it on finally. So I'm gonna throw this in the car and we'll go from there. Okay, so driver's side, I think is officially done. I even took the seat belt um, clip from the stock seat and put it on the new Brom seat, um, just right there on the side. Right there, as you can see, there's a little bolt um, on the Brom seat. All I did was take it off, put the seat belt clip right there, right in front of it, threw the bolt back in, fed the wire under the seat, and actually clipped it back to the factory harness. So, just in case I ever need my regular seat belt. And as for the harness, I know, like I said, I just, I left the fifth one out. So I have four point for the right side of the driver's seat on the bracket that's connected to the actual car. There is an actual hole that you can put the right side strap on to. All you would need is your own nut and you would just screw it in just like normal. And then that's how you connect that side for the left side of the driver's seat. Like I said, I just unbolted the actual seat belt and slid the harness ring in there. And as for these two, as you can see on the Graffiti Motorsports harness bar, all I did was unweave it through this, slid it underneath the opening, wrapped it around the bar, and then just tightened it back up. For the most part, everything feels good. The sliding back and forth feels good. Um, the harness straps are tight. And yeah, I'm actually really exhausted. This took probably six hours to do the harness bar, the seat, the bracket, and the strap just for one side. So I'm gonna finish the passenger side tomorrow. Um, it shouldn't take that long considering it's just the seat. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, what's good everybody? It's the next day. I'm about to start on the passenger side. So I got the passenger seat right there. I got the planted seat bracket right here for the passenger side. I have the sliders, the slider bar, the hardware, and my tools right there. So we're gonna go ahead and just put everything on the passenger seat right now. That way we can put it back in the car and finish with this install. So on the Brom seat, where the seat belt would be at if there was one connected, um, it'd be right here. So you just unveil a bolt when you lift up this flap. Um, I think it's 
18 millimeter. It's an 18 millimeter, kinda. You're gonna wanna line up the holes with the seat belt and the seat and just put the bolt back in. Just like that, the seat belt is in and we're good to go fit this in the car. And the passenger seat is officially in without the harness strap. For the most part, yeah, I mean, everything feels good. It's comfortable. The only thing is, like I said, the passenger seat is very high. Um, the bracket was a little hard to get in there. I have to go onto the driver's side to fit, you know, make the holes line up. But other than that, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm really liking the way this red and black interior is coming, especially with the Sparco steering wheel and the NRG short hub and quick release. Um, my little custom shift boot. I have another harness strap on the way so that way it can be complete complete but as long as we have our OEM seat belt should be okay for the passenger. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. I'm real satisfied with how the interior is starting to look uh, with the red and black, like I was saying. Shout out to Braun for the seats. Um, they feel good and they look good. Uh, the passenger side, like I said, is pretty high with the plant bracket. Um, but other than that, I mean, I'm loving the way this interior is looking. So that's gonna do it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if this video will help, go ahead and leave a comment down below. My goal this year was to try to hit 500 subscribers. I think right now we're about 320, so. I think, I think we could do it. Um, share this video with all your car enthusiast friends, you know, 350Z people who want to put aftermarket seats in their cars. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but, but yeah, like I was saying in the beginning of this video, I'm trying to be more interactive, not just, you know, boring install videos. So if this video kind of was headed towards that style that I'm trying to go for, uh, leave a comment down below, give me some feedback, and yeah, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, um, share it, like I said, and Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.